You know, it occurs to me, I've been exploring all around far away from this wall. But there may be some secrets over here. Who? Huh? Oh, that was probably me. Oh, yeah. Would you look at this? Yeah, you, you, you better stay over there. Okay, he's, he's, he's returning. Ah, uh, yeah, he saw me. May not have been any sneaking around th this guy. Oh my god. Oh shit! So they're both, uh, they're both wanting to be a problem. Oh, one of them decided to start shooting at me. Well, as long as he keeps his bow out and stays over there, I think I've got this. Too slow, apparently. Jawbone axe. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the last. Hey Nick, how's it going? Welcome back to Survalfius TV. You may or may not be watching this on your TV, but whatever you watch this on, I hope you have a grand old time watching me die over and over and over again. Power gathers somewhere in horned remains. Alright. Hey, actually, Nick, you kind of showed up at a good time. I'm about to, um... I'm about to enjoy what's possibly one of the most beautiful boss fights in this game. We're gonna, we're gonna rest first. At least that I've seen so far. Are, are you ready to experience beautiful? Are you ready to, um... It's probably a weird thing to ask, I'm sorry. Probably, pro pro probably weird thing to ask a lady. I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> All right. This is what the last two hours have been building up to.
more than that because I, I, I started in this cave last night. All right. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna stick to the helmet. We're just gonna we're gonna focus on stats right now. The fashion will come later. Well, we, we may be here in a minute. <laughs> Not that I'm going to complain too much about that. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna take me a little bit to um, figure this fight out. But I mean there are worse places to to be stuck.
again. Oh jeez, oh jeez, nope, nope, we're going this way, we're going this way. That's my last. Yeah, the music really does suit the fight. Like, there's just... There's just something beautifully melancholic about this whole encounter. Like, from the very start, when he's just walking... Just walking out of the mist, the music starts playing. The Like, that... That specific sound... Like, like the water drop sound it makes when his, like, blue flame attack hits the ground. Like, it's just... It's just a very well des designed fight. Like, I really, really love it.
it's it's one of those boss fights that I could I could do over and over again, and I just I would not be upset about that at all. I almost don't want to beat him. Actually, is there anything else around here before we? Oh, I can't use my horse down here. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't try. I don't think there's anything else down here. I think I looked looked around the last time I tried to play this game. The second version of this fight that you can find later on in the game, it's 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 even better. I'm not going to explain why or how, but uh, like for those of you who who haven't seen it, it's gonna be a while before we get to it. So, uh, if you're not following, do go ahead and follow, because I will be getting to it at, at, at some point here in the future, over the course of this year. Unfortunately, we can't fight it again. So, that's the major thing for down here out of the way. Um... I'm going to do one more pass of this area just to make sure we haven't missed any items or any interesting secrets. Come to think of it, uh, we never really explored down that way very thoroughly. I was too busy running from the enemies. Uh, oh dear, what do I want to level up? Well, we. I did say I wanted to get my dexterity up to 16 so we can finally try that weapon. So let's do that. Uh, we don't really need this claymore right now. Where? I have to remember which sword it was. Was it. Oh, it's 17! Piss! I thought it was 16, but it's 17! Ah, oh, we... We must still wait. Hey, how many range do I have? Oh, we're... We're, we're not even a thousand... Hold on, we're not even a thousand away from leveling up. That's 200, 400, 800. Oh my god, we've got 32 of these. Let's see, 4, 8, 8, 10, 12. Let's, let's do that. Is that enough? Oh my god, no. Just do that. I'm the true boss. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't even see that earlier. How'd, how'd that sneak by me? Heartbeat down. GG's all around. Uh, no, it's just... With, with that fight, it really makes sense to me to slow down. Maybe it's just because I want to enjoy it longer. But some of its moves do kind of dis d d discourage a rapid pace, like just trying to attack it nonstop. Uh, 
I don't know. So, let's finally give this a shot. Oh, would you just look at it? What were... What were some of its... Like, there was one thing in particular that really wanted me to... Oh, the unique skill. Slash upwards using the momentum of the strike to perform a backwards somersault. Yeah, so if I try that... Ah, uh, yes. <coughs> Let's try that again. Oh, that feels good. That feels very good. Oh, shit. Dime package with the raid. I'm sorry I couldn't stick around to the end of your stream, but, like, I... Like, like if I, if I wasn't going to start this when I did, I just wasn't going to start it at all. So, uh, hi guys. How did, how was the end of Chrono Cross? I'm finally able to use this weapon. We've been working on, uh, g getting our stats up, uh, for it for like two streams now. <laughs> An absolute bloody, f do tell, do tell. Meanwhile... Uh, I'm trying to get a feel for that. That's the entire reason I wanted to use this weapon, was this. So I th it, it, it does use up my, my, my FP, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Chrono I mean, look. What I caught of that game with you streaming it. Um I'm going to be honest. I didn't I was lost. I, I, I didn't understand. It's, it's like Okay, so it's like the basic premise of it I get. You know, it is a follow-up to a game about time travel. Um you're hopping between dimensions and you're having to keep some of that shit straight in your head. And, like, so, so, I, so I understand the very basics of it, right? I still kind of don't understand the battle system, the, the, the colors or the elements, and how they affect the field, and how that in turn affects your abilities. It, it, may, it may be something I'll have to play to really get, to really grok, but, um... I mean, it look it looks great. It looks fantastic. And if I were to play it, I don't even know if I'd want to play the new version of it. I'd kind of want to do what you did and give the original a spin. You know, just God, that feels so good. I want to use this on an enemy. Sure. Okay. Got to be careful with the second part of that, but, you know. Oh, shit. Forgot, forgot that was, forgot that was there. That was, um, okay, m maybe I should choose a different area to, to try this out. But the, the thing I love most about it, like, the second part where you go back in for a strong attack, like, that's fine, that's fabulous. I just love an ability that lets me attack and then immediately gets the fuck out of the way. Like, I, 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 I love that. 
Oh, you, you hungry for more? Oh. It doesn't... It, it seems like for this enemy, at least, it doesn't get out of the way far enough. Okay, so it, it, it is something I'm going to have to practice at, really get, get a feel for. Anyway. We're pretty much done with this cave now. Uh, I'm going to give it another once-over, just make sure we don't miss anything. I'm gonna go back up and give that dragonkin another few attempts. Actually, I'm curious, I'm curious about something here. So it's uh, 141. What? What well, is actually stronger than everything I'm using? And it does cause blood loss buildup. So I've got a. Yeah, you know, it it keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah, I had to kind of rush through this area because I was scared of some of the enemies around here. Uh, the new version is cool for the Radical Dreamers content. Then you just have to get a hold of Trigger. But they are also their own story, so I don't feel like you have to play them all to get... Well... The thing of it is, right, it's like, if you show me games that are even remotely connected to each other. I I have this I have this like I don't know. I don't know if it's like a neurotic need like I I, I don't know how, how to explain it. Uh, but I've I've got to start with the first one. I I I have to. It's, 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 it's a whole thing. It, it's why I'll never get into something like Doctor Who. Like, people say you can start from certain points, right? Like certain recent d doctors. But me, I'd feel the need to start all the way back in the 50s or whenever the very first you know doctor made his appearance on 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 television i would have to do that the hardest game you ever let go of was driver because you had one and two. Oh man yeah you got like like with the witcher for example when i was first getting interested in the witcher because everyone kept raving about how great the third one was a lot of people told me i don't have to play the first two i should just play the third one and i said no 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 fuck all that if i'm gonna play if i'm gonna play one i'm going to play them all and i'm i'm, I'm glad i did yeah see i'm with you on that it's 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 a it's a fucking trilogy. You play the trilogy as a trilogy. It... It's it's like I'm I'm so much like that that I almost didn't want to play this without playing the three Dark Souls games first. Like I realized this one isn't connected to it in any kind of lore sense or anything like that. But it's the same fucking series. Right? Like, it's the same thing. Just in, just in a new world with some new lore, some of which was written by George R. R. Martin. You know, it's... But it's more than just... It, it's more than just lore for me in that respect. Like, there's also, like, the evolution of game mechanics, seeing how this has evolved over the course of its entries. Like, there's a lot more to it than just story. But, um... 
But yeah, like I, I almost didn't want to play this. But at the same time, I've heard this described as like possibly the possibly the most noob friendly of the Souls games just because you have so much room to, to fuck off um, there is no le level cap like in the Dark Souls trilogy I think we talked about that yesterday where you could if you really if you really wanted to you could max out all of your stats whereas in Dark Souls if you try to spread yourself too thin on these stats, you can kind of fuck yourself over. <sighs> so I'm, I mean, I, I, like that's that's just I don't know. That's that's the only thing that really convinced me to play this one without going back and playing all the Dark Souls, is I. I kind of don't like the idea of jumping into a game where I can fuck myself over to the point of possibly not being able to beat it. It takes forever because of the PvP, but there is an unwritten level cap. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I imagine once you get up to a certain point, you can just be matched with, with, with anyone. and I don't know. I... Like, admittedly, I have no idea how the PvP in this works. I may not fuck with the PvP at all. I haven't decided yet. I'd probably... All, part of me is, is thinking that I'd almost want to make a new character with a solid idea of how I wanted to build that character for PvP instead of instead of this guy where I'm just like, Oh, I found a cool sword! Now I have to level my dexterity seven times! To get, like it's, you know, 